<laughs> this is very so appropriate good. music for this scene, actually. Yeah. Uh. Oh, there he goes. Anyway, yeah, we're yeah. playing PS2 betas this week. Uh, this stream means more to me personally than a lot of other streams we've done lately because the games we'll be featuring tonight I actually had to preview and review for various magazines over the years. I'm I'm super excited about this. Yeah. This this first game here, uh, Final <laughs> Fight Streetwise. Let me go into this a little bit. Yeah. This was one of the first games I had to preview and then review for Hardcore Gamer Magazine. My first encounter with this game came from a preview version that Capcom sent over. Pre-release, not quite final, bunch of differences from what was eventually released at retail. Let's get this started. So first of all, uh, just, just to give you a hint of what you're in for, here's an even earlier beta version of Final Fight Streetwise. God damn it, Kyle! Kyle! Damn it, Kyle! What the hell happened to your focus? Quit fucking around with this guy! This is my bro, Cody. A local hero. But he don't fight anymore. Back in the day, he was the man. He's kind of a hard-ass, but... He's always been there for me. You gonna let this no-good sack of shit play you like that? Damn, that looked good. This is too easy. That arrogant shit sack over there. That's Handsome Bob. <laughs> handsome my ass. The bloody-looking motherfucker in the corner, that's me. I can't say this is my most shining moment. But everyone says I got all this potential. Potential's good. I'm feeling good about being potentially good. You hearing me, Kyle? Look, another thing, you could not. Nah. Back off! Hey, you finished with your nap yet? Let's go! Yeah, keep it up, Bob. If you don't drop this fucker, I may have to. So that's the first cutscene in the game, and there was something like 50 or 60 F-bombs in there, and Cody, oh my god. Cody, please, he calm. was He was having a bad time. Everything was either a fucker or a shit sack or, or some motherfucker. Yeah, just like, calm down, dude. Uh, they cleaned that up, starting in this preview version here. So to compare and contrast, here's how that cutscene looks here, and here's, here's also how it looked in the final version. Kyle! Kyle! God damn it! Damn it, Kyle! What the hell happened to your focus? Quit toying with this guy! This is my bro, Cody. A local hero. He don't fight anymore. Back in the day, he was the man. It's kind of a hard ass, but he's always been there for me. You gonna let this no good piece of trash play you like that? Damn, that looked good. This is too easy. That arrogant shit sack over there, that's Handsome Bob. <laughs> handsome my ass. I don't get irony. And that bloody looking guy in the corner, that's me. You're probably that's wondering how I got into this situation. Everyone says I got all this potential. Potential's <laughs> good. I'm feeling good about being potentially good. You hearing me, Kyle? And another thing, you go! What the? <clears throat> <clears throat> Back off! Hey, you finished with your nap yet? Let's go! Yeah, keep it up, Bob. If you don't drop this loser, I may have to. So Cody cleaned up his act between the two betas. <laughs> Let's see what I can do for sound. The unfortunate yeah. thing, as we mentioned in the pre-stream, is that voices are tied to sound effects, and if I pump it too high, you will be destroyed by this game's sound effects. So here, I'm gonna quickly take care of Handsome Bob. <laughs> Here I don't think there's much in the way of differences between the first fight and the retail version. It's after you get out on the streets though that things start to change. Yeah, some folks called it TV edit. Yeah, Flotsam called this a... Uh, opponent of Flotsam are calling it like a TV edit. That's actually a pretty... <laughs> yeah, basically. It really is, and actually... He's a piece of trash, not a shit sack. Show some respect. <laughs> They actually edited this game down even further in the final. I'll show you some of the differences. Yeah, one of we'll them's get to a, that. One of them's kind of a, it's, it's a bit dicey scene of mild sexual violence. We'll give you a hollow But it's so we get interesting. There. But it's interesting that they actually changed one thing in it and turned it into something that's pretty kind of yikes to something that's just kind of like, eh, 
know, yeah. which is really interesting. So we're going to show that, but we'll give you a holler before we get there. So, but yeah. So if you're unfamiliar with Final Fight Streetwise, this is a Final Fight sequel released in, what, 2005, 2006? Yeah, yeah, 2006. Initially, this game was known as Final Fight Seven Sons. It was a cel it was a cell shaded brawler, much like uh, the arcade original, and it looked kind of awesome. It looks like something I really want to play because it looked goofy and stupid. Mm. Then something happened. Uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas was released, and um, then suddenly every company in the world wanted a piece of that pie. If you don't remember, that is no goof. I and therefore, so many of those games. I love this part. Stop shooting me! I'm getting out! Stop! Stop! Quit shooting what? your guns in the air! Ow! And that's the result, basically. Uh, menus accompanied by gunshots. <laughs> that's the legacy of Grand Theft Auto <laughs> San Andreas. So yeah, instead of a light-hearted game in the, the spirit of the original, Capcom executives decided, no, no, you gotta make it gritty and like really full of cussing and stuff, but not too much cussing. You put too much cussing in there at first. <laughs> Yo, check it out. Dude, he fucked him up bad. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, made me some money, too. Thanks, boys. All I got is me and my bottle. Here. Ah, shit. That's it? We're making ends. Yeah, Cody, just throw it on the ground. <laughs> By the way, Dirt money. this is the last time I pick up your money for you. So, wanna celebrate? <laughs> Already am. <laughs> Same. Same. Talking proper. How about Barfly in 30 minutes? Hey, why not now? Got things to do. What kind of things? Hey, Cody, what kind of things? You know, things. Ugh, what else could go wrong? Oh, I'm oh. in this game! <laughs> that sucks! I've seen this intro a lot. Having had to play through this in full about two or three times. <laughs> so yeah, you might be able to tell so far, this game has tone problems. The developers... Oh, uh, it does! It was Capcom USA, Studio 8, the people who made the Maximo games, and also Final Fight Revenge for the Sega Saturn. <laughs> Now, if you've played Final Fight Revenge, you would be thinking, why would you give this team another Final Fight game? What the hell is wrong with you? Well, they wanted to make a good Final Fight game, and then Capcom Japan said, no, make it more like San Andreas. And this is the result. No, he fucked Bob up! Go get him! I love Bob, he was so handsome. Eventually, I had to review this. I think I gave it a 2 out of 5. Yes, it was because the final boss in this game is Satan on Earth. It the thing is... is, yeah, again, going back to tone, uh, a couple hours in, this game becomes really hilarious. and it does. like It parodies itself, and it starts having fun with the concept. And then, at the end, it becomes the least fun thing ever. It is the least fun thing I've ever played in any video game. And it was a shame. It was a tragedy. It was. Whew. I should just be able to go around town cosplaying as Hacksaw Jim Duggan, but... <laughs> they won't let you. It's not to you be. do boring, bad things. But this being a 2005 game, you have side quests around a uh, semi-open world city. Uh-huh. Yep, I'm on it. And you got all these little quests you can go on to get respect and uh, upgrade points, things like that. God, remember all those, like, brown and green, dirty, gritty fucking games of yep. 2006? I hated this that This game aesthetic. heralded the brown game trend of Ah, brown skies and gaming! Look at this. Everything is brown. There's, there's people beating each other up because they're so upset about how brown everything they're is. They're just like, where are the blue skies, baby? Where's the visual variety, fucker? <laughs> I'm gonna chase you. Bring my blue sky back. <laughs> I want to see where this goes, actually. Oh, Jesus! Oh, man! There we go. Justice is served. Jesus Christ, Danny! Don't mind if I do, I say, after stabbing a dude to death in the <laughs> middle of the street. Was that a billboard for Slipknot, Danny, that we just saw? 
Well, funny thing, uh, funny you should mention that. Here's one for Soulfly, who is basically a Slipknot Jr. And around the corner here, yeah, there is a billboard for our favorite teen metal band, Slipknot. And beneath the Slipknot sign is uh, this dude who's getting beaten up. Oh, sister, watch your mouth, man. Teach you some manners. <laughs> Teach you some fucking manners. Some trash. motherfucking shit sack manners. <laughs> of all the cusses they removed from the intro, I'm glad they kept in shit sack, because mm -hmm. that's the best one to keep. So funny. Oh, I almost punched him in the face. Did I? All right, kid, go on. So as it goes, yeah, you complete quests, get respect. Uh, you keep a journal. <laughs> You're this dude who I think is homeless and who makes money through uh, pit fights, but he keeps a journal. <laughs> Apologize to his wife. To do, meet Cody. I barfly. You got a skill tree because, again, early 2000s game. Not sure how much of this avail is available here in this uh, preview version, though. Keep your stats, and you can see we've already got 100% completion. Pretty I good. Wow, I think that's a new speedrun record. <laughs> And there it keeps track of your respect in the four different areas in the game. People in my hood generally like me. They don't they don't dislike me. And Ever here in the music though. player, Oof. this is where it gets interesting. Uh, initially, in this preview version, the game had a pretty varied soundtrack. It had shit metal like Slipknot, but it also had like some some hip hop, some electronica, generally a pretty good mix. All of that was removed in the final. Uh, the final version only feature features tracks from Slipknot and Soulfly. Oh god! I am so why disappointed. Would you? There's actually a great track they use in a little bit that I'll point out when they do that wasn't okay. in the final version. Anyway, what we got to do here is go to the bar to meet Cody. Some Bro! rude people are here. Again, this is a wild ass game. Yeah, this was also the time when video games figured out they could cuss, and boy. <laughs> Boy, did they take advantage of that. Oh my Here's god. Here's something you may not realize, by the way. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 and Vice City did not contain one instance of the word fuck. Not one. Really? It was only San Andreas where they finally crossed that uh, that threshold. And, 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 and everyone once it was crossed, was like, there was no stuffing that genie back in the bottle. Everyone was a motherfucker in a shit sack after that point. Yeah, yeah. Motherfucker shit sack metal. So yeah, this game uh, comes from... Some really unfortunate circumstances. Mm -hmm. This dude's pointing the direction to go. He's like, come on, you gonna do this or what? It's cool, <laughs> never thought I'd be in a video game. Yeah, there's some pre-release text in here. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people refer to the fact that they're in a video game, which is, I think is kind of funny. Yeah, I would compare Final Fight Streetwise to a manga entertainment release. Absolutely. A lot of gratuitous cussing. In terms of story, I'm trying to cover all the bases here. Uh, this game takes place after Final Fight. You play as Kyle Travers, brother of Cody Travers. By the way, Travers is his last name, did you know? Uh, thanks! Cody has hit hard times, he's into some shit, as Kyle says, and eventually he goes missing and you gotta, you gotta find him. After this game was released, Capcom said this game was non-canon. It wanted nothing to do with it. So it's just a, a fun side story. Yo, rack them up. Oh, got some money to lose, huh? Oh. Looks like you had a little trouble tonight. Baby, be careful with that face. I like it the way it is. Who needs a perfect face? I've seen how much trouble it brings you. Haven't you heard? Good girls like me enjoy a little trouble now and then. Vanessa Sims. Ooh, what can yeah. I tell you about her? You can't see for yourself. She's sexy and tough. Not a bad combination. Being so horny. <laughs> Most of this dialogue was the same in the retail version. This preview version was pretty far along, <laughs> though it does cut off at a point. Have a seat, baby. I'm buying. You said 30 minutes, man. It's been an hour. Yeah, whatever. Listen, I'm thinking about fighting again. Ah, come on, Cody. Not again. I said, listen, Kyle. I'm onto something here. Something that can help. 
Help stick you in a wheelchair? Come on, man, you know your knees can't handle it. You think I like sitting on the sidelines like a bitch? I want to be back in the shit again. Look, Code. dial it back, man. <laughs> this is about how I fought tonight. Shit, Kyle. We don't want to have to redo this scene, too. Fighters I've seen. You just don't know it yet. But I'm tired of waiting for you, kid. <sighs> All my life, I've been a fighter. Don't you see? Without it, I'm nothing. Who said we were done? I did. I had to be someplace. He wants to see you. Now. Go fuck yourself, Stiff. He knows the deal. Deal's changed. Cody, you and your mouth. Who are these jerk-offs? <laughs> your move, asshole. You're basically oh, asking for it at this point. What the fuck? Don't worry about it. It's nothing. <laughs> fuck. Fucking shit. The Stiff. Who the hell is this? Better yet, what kind of shit has Cody stepped into? One thing's for sure, this guy means business. And something stinks. Kyle, well, we're in the shit again. We are certainly in the shit again. Oh, buddy, look at the shit we are in. I did not ask for this. But here we are. We gotta beat like 30 dudes to save our bro Cody. Cody! Our Cody. bro Cody! Eventually, as the storyline goes, you find out that Cody has arthritis, <laughs> keeping him from fighting, and the only way he can uh, not feel pain is to take a new drug that's hit the streets of Metro City. This new drug, unfortunately, turns people into drug zombies. Yes, there's an arthritis medication that turns people into drug zombies. And that's where the plot eventually goes. It's really once they introduce the drug zombies that the game really, really turns to shit. Up until that point, it's pretty fun, but god, I would not recommend finishing this game. Mm -mm. If anything, play the first few hours. I think it's actually pretty entertaining, and you can tell that someone wanted to make a good game out of this. It just didn't happen. I even like the combat a little bit. It, it kind of reminds me of uh, Yakuza, and all the uh, stuff you can pick up and throw at people. Body bag for you, jackass! <laughs> 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 I thought he said jerk ass at first, which would have made it even funnier. <laughs> yes. Body bag for you, jerk ass. And yeah, Chad already mentioned it, but there is a final fight uh, machine. In there it game. is, yeah. yeah. Uh, you can't play it in this version, unfortunately. They did include it in the retail version, but it's emulated very badly, and it, it runs at like 20 frames a second or something. Oh yeah, look at this uh, sign above the pool table. Cammy Lager. Get cannon spiked, it says. Hey, and it I has Cammy's that. iconic butt up there. I, th thanks, thanks, thanks Capcom. <laughs> I love this game, it's so crass, you know? It's, People it's... don't make crass games like this anymore. It's crassness defined by uh, current trends in popular media, which makes it even mm -hmm. more just stupid in retrospect. None of this came from the heart. You just wanted to be like San Andreas. If you call someone a shit sack, I want you to mean it. <laughs> so yeah, this is a very interesting... Um, oh god. Rip you. Oh, we kept the machine alive. Good help these days. Usually you break it in that fight. Thought you said your brother could fight. Rude. Everyone's rude in this game. Not a single. It is a very no one. There's not polite. a single likable character in this game. No one in this door would hold the door open for anyone else. It's terrible. They would slam it right in your face. Be like, "Fuck you!" I'm amazing. Nobody's been. Has anyone given each other the finger yet? Because not yet. Do they model the hands to be able to give you the? Flip you off? Oh, they might just be uh, PS2 flipper hands. Mmm, that's a shame. <sighs> Kyle, Kyle, take it easy. <clears throat> Where's Cody? They... they took him. Damn. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. They just wanted your brother. Baby, what are you doing? What do you think? 
I need to find Cody. Kyle, I'm due for my solid snake rehearsal. <laughs> this looks like some serious shit. That guy could have killed you. Yeah, well, he'll be sorry he didn't. Kyle, please. They're sure to kill you this time. I'm not leaving Cody hanging. Yeah, but I just. I like when he gets all grunty. <laughs> I gotta do this. <sighs> all right. Look, they dropped this. Matches? Metro Diner. Oh, you're the best. Thanks, baby. All the animation in that scene seemed to be a little bit too quick. Like, mm -hmm. he just slammed that door in an instant. <laughs> oh, yeah, wallet chain. <laughs> This, yep. is, this is definitely from a certain period, a uh, certain time period. Hey, what's up, man? Oh yeah, if you're liked in a neighborhood, everyone oh, will look up to you. Turn what's turn happening? Turn. Oh, he was turning in circles so fast. Oh, that was so pretty. None of that on my watch. You, nope. They don't. They don't like you. Hey. <laughs> what are you doing? How dare you look at my cigarette lighter? That's extremely rude, Thank Danny. You. Be nice. I generally like this kind of open world silliness though. Everyone's all like, whoa, dude, you're so cool. Then he just. Did you... Guess he's in the street now. Uh -huh. I guess he's wise to the street as you slam, <laughs> hey, as you slam you his shoulders into it. Anyway, there's different buildings you can go into, there's a gym, you can learn new moves. Pull him. We're gonna rush through this though. We got places to go, people to see. Sorry I'm so quiet, this game is just... It really speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. yeah. but you too! Grandma, no! Well, not, Everyone gets no! thrown. This is Kyle's hit neighborhood. Oh, you're lucky you're behind that barrier. Go to the diner. So we mentioned before about tone problems, uh, about that. I ain't saying Jack until this roach problem gets fixed. What can I do? Get rid of him, or you can pay her off to skip this. But we want to do this. We really want to do this. We really do. And this is where the original creative vision starts to become apparent. <laughs> Just listen to this great song, everybody. Yeah. It sounds like the theme from America's Funniest Home Videos. <laughs> I just love this third wave ska whatever. I just love that everyone's eating their lunch while this roach apocalypse is happening. <laughs> See this? This is the kind of shit I want in a Final Fight game. This is what it should be all about as far as I'm concerned. Just dealing with problems around Metro City. And Metro City should be more of an actual city, not just some sort of, sort of violence capital where everyone beats each other up on the streets. It's more funny that way. Oh, am I gonna be able to do this? Well, you, you gotta concentrate. Serious time. Okay, yeah, it's serious time, for real. Gotta stun him first. This music's great, by the way. It is. Get him! Get him! Got oh, him! Yes! Here's my reward. <laughs> This music is so good. And then it plays, it continues playing the Happy Ska theme. <laughs> I love this game. And it plays a different sad Ska song if you lose. <laughs> See? Oh, this game was almost so good. So we find this game, this guy named Weasel. And this is the source of the major difference between this prototype and uh, what was eventually released at retail. Let's go seek him out first of all. So the weasel's hanging out in the porno theater. He knows something about the guys who have Cody, and we gotta ha we gotta find Cody. My Dad, bro, Cody. Cody. My Where bro. is Cody? Oh, have no, you wait. seen Cody? Tall, looks like nails from WWF. Does he? Yeah. So I th Arnold Grimmer already mentioned that, but he really <laughs> he looks like he looks like a, a mid '90s uh, wrestler. Who is that guy? Someone who's familiar with my career. Hi, I am a female. Do you like my localization test dialogue? Yes, it's good. Pretty good, pretty good. Heading out the back, it's a shortcut to the porn theater. So I didn't know what the hell to think about this game when I played this preview disc. I was like, 
I was an emotional roller coaster because yes. at first I was like, this is horrible. Why would you do this? And then the Roach mini game happened and I was like, wait, maybe this is secretly great. And as it turns out, the truth is somewhere in the middle. <laughs> More accurately, it's a game that almost becomes great at some point, and then it just completely sabotages itself. Mm -hmm. Truly, truly unfortunate. Especially for Final Fight, a game that I really like. Jesus! Alright, where's this? Oh, there's too many dudes here. Fuck this. Oh no, wait, I have to beat him up. While I'm beating up these dudes, we're about to go into a porn theater, and this is where we have to issue our very first content warning, because yep. in it's... here is a legit scene of sexual assault. No kidding. So... It's, uh, it's handled very stupidly, and it's not like... And it's pretty fucking brief, so yeah. it's not enough to not want to show it. And it is, they make a difference, there's a difference between it and the final that actually completely changes the tone of it, so. Yeah, in fact it goes by so fast that I'm gonna explain what they changed. Uh, in mm -hmm. this scene, just to give you a heads up, a dude straight up slaps a lady while she's giving him a blowjob. It like, fucking sucks again, stupid. tone problems. Yeah, Tone yeah. problems. <laughs> Uh, in the final version, it plays the exact same animation that you're about to see, only it doesn't play the slap sound effect, and it shows the dude putting down his hand after he puts it up, as yeah. if to say, like, ah, I thought better of it. Mm -hmm. But here, you're going to get to see the full so, yeah, uncensored go. thing that Capcom looked at and thought, eh, maybe that's a little too far. <laughs> maybe not, maybe nobody wants to see this. Mm -hmm. Speak with your boss now. And you could threaten to kick this guy's ass and he'll let you in, but let's have fun. We gotta arm wrestle this guy. I did it. Okay, I'm gonna mute us here so you can see the full uncensored scene. Uh, if you don't want to see this, come back in like two minutes, because yeah. we got a whole lot of more stuff to show off. We'll see you then. See ya! This is it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's good. Oh yeah. Mm, yeah. No, don't ignore them. Oh yeah. This better be good, damn it! Can't you see I'm busy? I'm looking for someone known as the Stiff. Ooh, you're not the only one, baby. Yo, shut up, bitch! Nikki was so. They call him the Weasel. I think you can see why. 100% grade A slime. Normally I wouldn't bother with such trash, but for reasons that escape me, the little turd's got a bit of a following. Go figure. Never heard of him. Now get the fuck out! Uh-huh. And what's this? That's none of your business. Now get out of here before I... Before you what? Hey, pardon me, ma'am. This ain't gonna be pretty. So, a lot to unpack there. Yeah, um, so in the original, he put, they show the thing of him putting his hand up, but they don't play the sound. So it's a very minor change. Yeah, but they, ch it... they changed it in like the laziest way possible. Mm -hmm. All they did was loop the, uh, the scene of him putting his hand up, only they played it backwards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and anyway, we got a weasel to chase after. Not sure if you can hear the music oh back here. Oh my god, this music, Danny! Which might be a good thing because it is a licensed track. Uh, you may recognize the riff, the riff here as Powerhouse, an old song that plays in Looney Tunes cartoons. That's not the song. It's being sampled in a song called Bust to Beelzebub by a band called Soul Coughing. Soul Coughing? Yeah, uh, again... This would have been a pretty varied soundtrack if Slipknot had not taken over. This track is not in the final game. That sucks. Uh, this in is this scene, good. it's just generic. It's just generic metal. I also love that he doesn't try to fight you. <laughs> this is very so appropriate good. music for this scene, actually. Yeah. Uh. Yep. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> nope. Over there. Nope. <laughs> God, I love this. This is so. Oh, beautiful. Justice has been <laughs> served. <laughs> oh my god. Um, 
Oh, I don't want to have to explain this to the police. <laughs> God damn it, Danny! That was totally accidental. <laughs> Yikes, my... This... Ooh. Oh, here's the best part. What the fuck you doing? Door slamming head minigame. Ah, oh, God! This game is a whiplash of emotions, especially in this state. There's actually several of these scenes in the game where you have to slap dudes' heads and doors. God damn it! The stiff's in the warehouse behind the diner! He's waiting to see me! If you're lying to me, I swear to God, I'll... I, I, I ain't lying! Take the damn Bible! That'll get his attention! <laughs> now she's just... Oh, man! <laughs> I'm sorry, but... It wasn't supposed to happen this way. It really wasn't. <laughs> Well, let's get out of here. <laughs> yep, I found my porn. Gonna just get out of here. My You're not lady, gonna see me for a while. Goodbye. I shall save thee. <laughs> stab, 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 stab. The knife stab. went through the weasel. Jesus, Danny. I stabbed the weasel so hard it went through and claimed an innocent victim. I'm sorry. <laughs> so we're nearing the end there of this demo. There was some stabbing spl splashback, apparently. There was. <laughs> you stabbed. You stabbed through one man and killed the. Oh, I'm That's sorry. That's just how it is here on the streets. What can I say? Fucking Jesus. This fucking game. So yeah, GTA San Andreas had a huge influence on gaming. In some ways... But they took the wrong lessons from it. They were like, hey, let's just do the stupid parts of San Andreas instead of, you know, what do you want, the storyline, the characters. The, the, you know, the... The characters, the, the writing, the motivations, the... The being inspired by period-specific film. Fuck with the wrong guy, Travis. You're dead meat now. In comparison, this is just trend-chasing bullshit. It is so trend-chasing. And that here's where the alive. Slipknot comes in. Slipknot! Slipknot, please don't sue us. Slipknot, please don't take our revenue away. We love you. Do we? I We love them if they... Don't take our money. If they do take our money, they will be on our block word list. So we'll find out when we try to. Your move, Slipknot. Hmm? Your move, Slipknot. We are holding our love for you ransom. You Slipknot. want to be muted on our channel? It's your choice. Yeah, the guy we did stab came back. He's fine. Oh, yeah, he's fine. So that lady's probably fine too, right? Oh, yeah, I only Frog. stabbed her like yeah. twice. Mm -hmm. I stabbed him like eight times. So I was kind of looking forward to this game, actually. Like, they made it look pretty stupid in the previews, but I had confidence that Capcom could pull it together. Uh, my confidence was unfounded. And after I played this preview, I was like, oh, this isn't going to be very good. Luckily, again, it did pick up, but not enough to really redeem it in any sort of way. Really unfortunate. And that basically marked the end of the Final Fight series, because there hasn't been another game in the series ever since. What's happening over there? BBH just called them slip nuts, slipping on nuts. <laughs> also, the stabbing animation looks unusually like realistic and visceral. There's like yeah. a there's like an appropriate sound, and you kind of slowly drag it out of the guy after puncturing him. It's like, so ugh. multiple people are mentioning uh, they checked the IMDb, and Kyle's voice is credited as someone who is credited to nothing else. So more than likely, it is a pseudonym. Probably it a really pseudonym. It really feels yeah. like a pseudonym. <laughs> I don't want that. Jesus, hey! Why does it make bomb noises? I had a when knife. Stab. Sounded like I was bulldozing a warehouse or something. <laughs> crunch, crunch. Bomb, bomb. So yeah, it's lighthearted nonsense mixed with shit that has no reason to be in the game whatsoever. That's the Final Fight Streetwise experience. Good. They tried to level it out to be less try-hard in the end, but they were only partially successful. And nothing they did could save the gameplay, especially in the last couple hours. Yeah. Whew. Alex, you saw me fight that last boss. I did. You I did. hated that last boss. Oh, please don't kill me. I don't want to have to do this fight again. No, we don't. I know. I 
corn. Nah. My corn hole. Not the face! Not the face! Stiff. Answer it. Nah, it ain't for me! How about now? Get cute, you're dead. Ah, what do you want? Ah, uh, no, no. I just got a cold. I need the book now. Bring it to the hotel within the hour. Go on, kid, go! Yeah, the stiff's killed more men than I bang broads. He'll be real interested, like, to make your acquaintance. If you warn him, I swear I'll crack open your goddamn head. Warn him? Warn him? <laughs> I'm warning you, you stupid bastard! Yeah, yeah, I know. Not the face! Ugh. Damn, Cody. I'm gonna have to kick his ass, too, when this is over. <laughs> I'm gonna kick everyone's ass. And right there, the game cuts itself off. And that's the end of Final Fight Streetwise preview build. Yeah, a lot of interesting yeah. differences from the final version. And it's it just fascinates me how they so closely reflect this game's problem with tone. Because all the stuff that was different between the betas was just shit that they had to scale back a little bit. Yeah, Like, yeah. I know the direct... Uh, the directive from on high was to make this gritty and have everyone cuss all the time, but you can't do that. It just sounds ridiculous. It and... does, and it, it and then it, it and then you can't mix that and have the scenes that you do, and then have fucking you know the ska roach. You know, yeah, scene. you can't have both. Please just have the ska scene. That's all I want. Like you can. There's do... also there's yeah. a two-player and arcade mode here, but they're non-functional, so I'm just gonna move on.